Hey, in this video, I just want to get your eyeballs on these beige and tan paint colors and how they relate to a lot of common interior finishes. Now you might not have these exact finishes in your home, but chances are if you have beige or tan in your home, you'll see some similar undertones, things that look familiar, and you'll be able to take these ideas and apply them to your space. I'm going to be moving along quickly and you just will want to do a quick in your head, just go like, yes, no, yes, no, or mm, maybe. Right now you might not know why you do or don't like a connection, but as you practice, as you get better at it, you'll see undertones connect and undertones clash. So let's get started. We got old Taj Royale here, which I love. Let's see what's jiving. What's not quite connecting. So, you know, we were up here and I was like, you know what, that's okay. There's a little something there, maybe not quite grabbing, but we're not far off. That was a no, there's too much taupe in there. That's balanced beige, too much green, wool skein, canvas tan. Now we hit the sweet spot, canvas tan, macadamia. We're seeing those colors that are, I mean, this is more saturated. It's grabbing some of the veining there. But canvas tan in particular is a subdued tan that's coordinating with the subdued tan backdrop in here. They both cater to a very, very minor green undertone. It's really hardly there, but compared to pink, it is sitting that little bit better. Now let's look at this guy. Common tile, you might have this tile or something similar to it. And let's see what grabs, what doesn't. You can see we're close to grabbing there. You kind of go, okay, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So we definitely hit a sweet spot with macadamia again. There's our tan. It's got a committed yellow. It's grabbing that in there. So while we were close here, this is Killam Beige. It has just a bit too much pink for what's shaken in there. That sat a bit better. Canvas tan works okay too, but I've kind of felt like these tiles here, especially that, was grabbing that a bit more. So you have some versatility. The most updated look would definitely be this. That would be a little bit more rich and dated. It would look a little bit more like the early 2000s. But you know, if that's your jam, that's okay too. Say, say you have a grayish or taupe tile, you want to add some warmth to your space? Can you? What do you think? Do we see any magic happening? See anything not happening? No magic happening. I would say your best chance with something like this is going to be in the soft off-white. So this is Sherwin-Williams moderate white and off-white beige. But really this product's telling us it wants a little bit more gray mixed in, a little bit more of a taupe paint color. Perhaps you have some marble. Maybe you've bought a house and it has some marble finishes and you're not a marble person. You like some warmth and you want to add some beige or tan on your walls. Can you though? What do you think? Seeing anything you go, ooh, yeah. Or like, ooh, holy heck. No. So, no. The green is hitting this in so many terrible ways. Way too taupe. Again, if you have a product that doesn't naturally want to fit in a color like this, your best bet is in that soft off-white. It's still not doing this any justice. Some finishes just don't want the colors that you may want to put with them, and you have to find that happy medium, or you need to lean into your home and its needs, or it's not going to look good. Another common blend. Let's see here if we can squeeze something in. What do you think? Too beige. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Uh, a little too warm, too beige, too green, too green. Yeah, we're hitting a spot there that might have a, this has a little bit more, oh, yeah, it's just not quite connecting. I'm looking at it at a funny angle, so it's a bit challenging. Yeah, it's a little bit too much yellow in there. Your best bet again, when you have a product that is, you're stretching its comfort zones, off-white, subtle undertones, really simple. You don't want to commit to anything too hard. Now let's look 
a nice travertine super common super popular I'm a huge fan of travertine for me it's just a timeless stone what do you think this is the beige end that's a beige that has a bit more taupe mixed in picking up a bit of green there with grant beige wool skein canvas tan that little bit more muted and the strength of macadamia you know these ones are eh, okay too green so we know we really don't want the tan world but we also don't want a beige that's got too much taupe in it we certainly hit the sweet spot when we hit that little bit of an orange pink undertone with our beige i'd say that's probably my fave of the bunch that's benjamin moore muslin oh i've got more and it's good the more you see the better you'll get and you can just sit there drink your wine drink your coffee and just check them out you can do the video again see if you can improve your instincts on what does and doesn't work so you have a nice warm tone fabric but you're not sure whether you should go beige or tan and again whether you call it beige or tan or tan or beige it's getting those undertones right that is the most important part seeing what clashes and what doesn't clash green right it shows us how much pink is in there which means we want to be back in the beige end of things with an orange pink undertone even a little bit subtle is okay but i'm really sitting on those two muslin kill em beige so the nice thing is that when you're doing comparisons like this you're not just seeing what type of color you want like beige or tan you see if you want a beige that has stronger undertones milder undertones or a tan that has a little bit more green or a little bit more muted let's say you got a marble-ish countertop laminate or actual marble or maybe you have some tiles that look like this and you really want to warm things up can you definitely not with this end of things hard no again your best chance light soft non-committal undertones otherwise you'll have a bit of a battle now there are some finish that actually have some flexibility while they look gray grayish taupe at first glance they actually have a little bit of flexibility tucked in them which is nice making colors like these that much easier to fit in you know right idea maybe a little bit grayer would be nice uh, nope so you can see this definitely humors these more than those cooler grays go warmer again maybe you got a countertop or a tile or a fabric that's in this nice warm tone you don't know what undertones you want to hit so you compare do you want muted undertones do you want stronger undertones do you want tan with green no you don't want tan with green canvas tan is on the very edge not working a little bit too much yellow green and macadamia we are definitely back here at muslin and kill em beige this is a bit too blending muslin is better i might even get muslin lightened by 25 percent just to get a little bit more contrast with my countertop maybe you have a lighter one take a look at that oh, you know i like it i like i find that a lot of women really respond to colors and not everybody some people need to think about it and sit on it but often when i do in-home consults i do something like this and they go okay yeah i like that i like that and they go oh then you know you're hitting a sweet spot right so i immediately went oh and i liked this i did not dislike it i don't dislike that but i actually couldn't even help myself but respond to that connection that's not bad either but as soon as we hit those green undertones we're clashing on the edge canvas tan it is so versatile which is why it's so close to suiting a lot <sighs> there it is such a nice spot to settle so see if you do that see if you respond to things let's say you have cream trim or cabinets which is very common especially with the early 2000s homes the mediterranean style and it's tricky so and this might look like a strong cream it's not it's quite a light cream let's see can we do beige or tan well we certainly can't do washed out ones they just look insipid and pale next to this way too taupe the taupe in there is really bringing out the cream that's some balanced beige nah. grant beige is okay no scream and glory wool skin is terrible it just looks murky canvas tan doesn't have enough yellow 
macadamia is looking like our best bet. And you want to know why? Because it has the most yellow in it, which is why it's grabbing onto this. So that's kind of what you're looking at with cream trim is that if it's cream, it has a yellow undertone. It is going to prefer tan over beige because it wants that little bit of yellow. I've got more. Never ends, seriously. Okay, let's see here. You know, at first glance you go, hmm, okay. Maybe not like, ooh. No, we're definitely not ooh though. Those look a little bit too pinky there. That's Sherwin-Williams Natural Linen, which I love so much. I'm not even a beige fan and I love natural linen. I love muslin, two of my fave colors. Are we getting any magic here? Can you see the clash there? Our most magic right there. Again, we're just looking for some connections to be made. We're just, and it will take practice for you to understand why to go like, oh yes, they both share this undertone. But you'll get better at it. Let's, what do you think? Nice mixed countertop, something like this is super common from the early 2000s, the 90s. What's grabbing, what's not? You can see it's definitely happy with a orange pink undertone. It's not as happy with a yellow or yellow green undertone. Really, it's a nice spot there, hey? That's a bit strong, a little bit too much undertone. We want to cut that back, sit in the natural linen, Sherwin-Williams natural linen or Sherwin-Williams moderate white, really pretty. Maybe you have a black countertop and you're finding it a bit harsh. You want to soften up your space with a warm color. But even black, these flecks in it, they have undertones. So you want to think, okay, well, does it have a violet undertone? A violet undertone is more likely to suit an orange pink undertone than it is to suit a yellow green undertone. Maybe it's a green undertone. Well, it's probably going to suit tans over beige. So let's see. What do you think? I'm not seeing any magic. I'm seeing a lot of tragic. Undoubtedly, my best chance if I wanted to do that would be this right here. But really this countertop wants more gray, a little bit more violet. But this could be a happy medium. Sometimes you can't get that ideal world and maybe happy medium is good if you just crave some warm color. Another popular countertop. Those look way too pinky, way too taupe. Green, green, it looks a little pinky and fleshy. You know, it's definitely hitting a spot. I don't love any of them with this. I'm back here, but I think we actually need more undertone, a little bit more orange to it to hit that spot. Or you just need to get into the legit kind of warm gray taupe end of things with some body to it. Countertop, really common one from the early 2000s, around 2010. Again, the greens are just hitting pretty hard. You might, you know, you look at that, you go, okay, it's close, but you go back here, it sits so much better, right? So if we've got a little bit of yellow, orange, a little bit of green there, we got the orange, pink, sits way better. We've done enough countertops for now. Let's look at this bad boy. What do you think? You want to add a warm color on your walls. You don't know if you want beige or tan. And you're seeing what's hitting a good spot. That green undertone is not working. Canvas tan is reasonably good, hitting some spots there. That's just too strong and powerful. Too green, far too taupe. Yeah, mm, a little bit pinky. Just a touch too pinky, that's Sherwin-Williams Natural Linen. I'm kind of sitting there, but you know, I don't actually love any of them with it. And that's okay, it means I need to go back to the store. I need to get more samples. I might pick the one that's closest and go to the store and see what I can find that's similar, but a little different. Let's see, you got a grayish tile, nice warm gray, and you don't know if you can warm it up. I do see some pink veining running through there, which means the greens are just a hot mess. Nowhere down there. Again, when you wanna stretch something in, lighter, softer, muted is definitely the way to go, and I think you could totally pull off Sherwin-Williams Moderate White. It does make the gray base of this look stronger. It's actually really pretty. Common tile. Let's see, beige or tan or neither? What do you think? Okay, no green, 
Sure, not those. We definitely can't do those. We're on the edge with balance beige. You know, it might be a little bit grayer, a little bit lighter would hit a really good spot. Moderate white squeaking in. Sure, there's a little bit, little bit more taupe in there, but I'd say we're getting pretty close. These are just too warm and beige. So it's telling us it wants something very, very muted and it doesn't want tan. One more, travertine. You might have a travertine that's all this color, all this color, but you can see there's a nice range and we wanna see whether it likes beige or tan. A lot of people actually wanna put cream with this, but while you can see a bit of a yellowish there, it's not a traditional cream and cream actually doesn't really work with travertine. So let's see what does work. Not green. Nope. Oh, we're on the edge of something there. There's an interesting color right there, right? But oh, I think that's probably where we'd find our happy place. A little bit of flexibility there. We don't want anything too taupey. And we certainly don't want green. So that's some fun playing around. Hopefully you get a feel for how to compare things, how to see those undertones shift and connect or clash.